Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about rational expressions, addition, and subtraction. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given two problems here, two rational expressions here, one we're adding and one we're subtracting. Let's we'll start with the addition first. What do we notice about them? They both have the same exact denominator. When that happens, we now can add these two rational expressions just like we add really regular fractions, okay? When we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators and we keep the denominator the same. So we can write these all under one fractional numerator and denominator. X plus four stays in the denominator and we combine the numerator. Now I'm gonna rearrange this to put the X squared first. X squared plus 11X plus 28. Now there's no like terms here that we can um, combine, but what we wanna do is factor, see what we can you know, factor out here. So in the numerator, I wanna ask myself the question, just like any other factoring, what two numbers multiply by 28 but add to be 11, and that is going to be a seven and a four. We have x plus four here and x plus a seven. 4 times 7, 28. 4 plus 7 is 11. Now notice one last thing. We have x plus 4 in the numerator and x plus 4 in the denominator. They can cancel out and we're left with an x plus 7 left over. But we want to be careful here. When we cancel out the denominator, what doesn't show with our final well, simplification is that x cannot be a negative 4. Because if we had a negative 4 in our original original equation we're simplifying or expression sorry we're simplifying negative four would cause that to be have a zero in the denominator and be undefined so that kind of that information disappears with our final simplification so we want to make that known right here okay now subtraction process is basically the same except for well subtraction instead of addition notice again we have the same denominator in both rational expressions so that same denominator can stay here, x squared minus 3x minus 18, and we need to combine the numerator, okay? Now you can do this in two steps or one step. I like to do it in one step if I can, and we'll take our time. We wanna combine our like terms as we subtract here, all right? Remember, the subtraction gets applied to each part in the numerator, okay? So 5x squared minus a 4x squared is just an x squared. Combining again our like terms, negative 7x minus a 1x is a minus 8x. 3 minus a negative 9, or 3 plus a positive 9, is going to be that 12 plus a 12 here. Okay? Now, if you need to take a pause a moment and re or rewind and see that again, go do that if you need to. From here, we want to factor again, see if we can factor the numerator and denominator. So let's go look at the numerator first. Okay, what two numbers add to be 12, I'm oh, sorry, multiply to be 12, but add to be a negative eight, and I'm seeing a minus two and a minus six. Negative two times negative six is a positive 12. When we add the two, we get minus an eight. What about the denominator here? Same idea, we're gonna ask the same question. What two numbers multiply to be a negative 18, but add to be a negative three, and I'm seeing a positive three and a minus six, let me see. Negative six times positive three is a negative 18. Negative six plus three is a negative three. And lo and behold, look here, x minus six, we can cancel, numerator and denominator. Cancel that out, and we can rewrite here, we have x minus two over an x plus three. Caveat we need to note here, what can x not equal, right? In the um, <clears throat> denominator, we had an x minus a 6, right? So if x is a positive 6, it makes the denominator 0, so we can't do that, so x cannot equal 0 here, and there we have it. We simplified the second rational expression with subtraction is to be x minus 2 over x plus 3, but x cannot equal 6, not 0. If you caught that, let me know, but x cannot equal 6 there. Well, I hope you learned something here on rational expressions of addition and subtraction. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else.
So as always, thanks for watching.